Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a look using the um, Morphin Jaclyn Hill Collab Palette, Ring the Alarm, um, that came out of the Vault Collection. This is what the palette looks like. The color scheme, I don't know what I'm going to come up with. So let's just jump in and see what we can come up with today. So let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, so now we're just going to... Um, wing it and see what we can come up with with this palette this morning so we are going to start out with um the norm i think i'm gonna use this and i i prime my eyes this morning with the um revolution pro ultimate coverage crease proof concealer and this is in the shade c c5.7 and this is what it looks like um i used to use this all the time too a while back and it's a pretty good um base with covering up you know um if you have like um veins and stuff showing on your eyes it's like a really really thick consistency that covers everything so we got that all smoothed out so let's get started we're going to take this wet and wild fluffy brush um because i don't know what i want to do but we're going to start out with the shade rush which is this second shade on the first row, this matte orange looking shade. And we're gonna put this shade right in our crease area and just lightly stamp it. And I'm placing most of it um, on the top of this um, crease area, right below my brow bone, right into the crease, but packing a lot of it on the outer portion of this crease, because we're going to blend the rest of it um, towards the inner crease, in the corner of the crease. I'm going to get these things together one day, these terms. So we're just doing the same thing for this eye, just packing it. Okay. So now we're going to take a little bit more on the brush and just start blending the shade out into the crease. And I'm starting with this out of V, just like in circular motions, and dragging what's left into the inner crease. And then we're going to go back the other way and blend towards the outer V. And the same thing for the other eye. Just blend right there in that crease area where you got most of the shadow and blend the rest towards the inner. Then you want to do the same circular motions going back out towards the outer V above that crease. So you can see how it kind of like um, evens it out when you blend in circular motions. So I'm going to take just a little bit more and put it, you know, right in that crease again. And I'm focusing more right like directly in the crease rather than above the crease where we blended out the um, shade a couple of seconds ago. And the same thing for this eye. And there's a nice little fluffy brush too. Um, by the way, I think I have about two or three of these brushes. It's a really soft brush. So now we're going to go in with the, um, let's go in with the, I don't want to use that brush. A more denser type looking brush. So we can, we're going to go in with the Makeup Shack T68, which is this fluffy brush here. Um, and let's go in with the shade. Let's kind of switch up just a little bit. Let's go in with the shade Framed. And it's this plummy, deep plummy shade. Uh, the 
next to the last shade on the second row. And we're going to apply this shade right in the outer V. It's on our brush. And we're going to pack it first. And I'm packing on my lash line. And we're going to blend up into that um, V outer V area. And then we're going to lightly blend. Because I don't want it to go like above my crease and be too intense. Um, so we don't have to be sitting here all day trying to blend out all these shadows. I like the way this coming along. So do the same thing for the other eye. You want to stamp it more so on your lash line. And like I said, kind of um, lightly blend it up towards the crease. But not a right, not a, all the way above the crease, but right in that crease area. And this palette actually performs, still performs pretty good. Taking a little bit more, just to make sure you have the um. The deepness that you want, you can go a little lighter, you can go a little deeper. Um, it's really up to um, how soft or deep you want the look to be. So we're going to pop just a little bit more in this outer V. And this time I'm taking the tip of the brush um, instead of the sides, the tip. And um, just do this, my norm, and then that way you're getting the shadow directly on the tip, and you can concentrate it and place it right there in that outer V. If you don't want to keep placing the shadow in your crease area, you can kind of control it that way. So I like to do that when I'm using a lot of deeper shades in my outer V. Um, if I've already placed what I want to place, like in my crease area, I don't want to get too, too deep going up in this area, I put my um, the tip of my brush in that deep shade and just place it right there in that outer V area. That way you're not adding so much product up in your crease area if you don't want it that deep going up. And I don't want that today because I like the way it's looking now. Now we're going to wipe the brush off just with a dry towel and it's just a um, makeup removing towel because I want to continue to use the same brush but I want to take off this excess um, shadow and then we're going to just blend right back in that crease where we placed this deep shade that way it's transitioned in with the first shade we used brush I'm going to do the same thing for this eye This is like really coming together, like really, really pretty. I like that. So now we're going to go back in with this um, Wet n Wild brush. Now I'm not applying any more shadow, but we're going to um, go ahead and just blend out this area right below the brow bone, above the crease, to make sure brush is still um, placed on our eyes above the shade framed. And I'm just using what's left on the brush. I'm just making sure everything is just um, blended and lightly transitioning on my lid like I want it to. I'm not placing any more shadow, but I'm, I'm just making sure the edges are um, diffused up towards my brow bone area. So now we're going to go in with the um, BH Cosmetics number 12 brush with our little cream brulee matte shadow. 
um, because there is no light transition shade for my brow bone area and I do want to set this um, <laughs> what is this stuff I want to set this crease concealer that I used as a base so we're going to take this matte shadow and just apply it right under that brow bone area to set and we're going to go a couple of times because I like to make sure it's like really really set and the same for the other eye so I'm liking how this is coming together so far Cool beans. So we're gonna take the Wet n Wild one more time, so we can make sure this lighter shade is um, that we just placed. This matte bone shade is blended with the shadows, and we're gonna take this Makeup Shack one more time. We're not gonna apply any more shadows. Just make sure this is um, blended. To your liking as well now if you feel like you want to add some more go ahead and add some more if you feel like you blended um the shadow out of the area you want it in okay so now our um shimmer piece we're going to go in with the Too faced and i've been using this because i'm trying to use it up um but i love my bh cosmetics and i do have a, a couple of nyx um glitter glues as well but I'm actually trying to use this one up so we my nor my two little dollops and we're going to place it on the lid now we're going to focus it mainly on the lower lash line in the center of the lid and go over to the inner corner I'm not going all the way over my lid today because I normally cover my whole lid but I want to leave that um, portion of my lid mattified mattified <laughs> the shadow matte i want to keep the shadow matte we're doing the same thing for this eye starting with the center at the lash line and going over towards the inner corner so i think that's pretty good so now we're going to go in with this color pop i've been loving using fluffy brushes if I'm not using my finger to apply shimmer shadows because I feel like they go on pretty soft, a lot softer. And um, and I like the way it looks that way. And sometimes when you use like these flat, flat synthetic brushes, it kind of give you that harshness. And I'm not looking for harshness early in the morning when I'm trying to go to work. Something like I said that I can just kind of like just do and get out the door. So I think I want to go with the shade... Lolly, which is this first rose gold type shade, or should I not? Because I've been using a lot of shades like that, I believe. Pretty much all these shades be looking alike. You know what? Let's let's go in with let's do it anyway. Um Lolly, which is this first rose gold look type shade. And we're gonna put some of it on this brush. And you wanna get like a good little bit amount. A little bit. And you're going to place it and I start at that lash line and I'm placing it where I place the glitter glue and you're going to go in several times to kind of build up the um, shimmer how you want it whether you want it kind of on the topper looking side or the more pigmented shimmer side and that's the, the um, look I'm going for today is the more pigmented um, side so I'm going to go in a couple of times to coat it like I want to and I'm going right where this crease area is and just placing it in that crease area as well now I'm not going to this outer V area I'm leaving that um, alone because we're going to go back in and blend and add a little bit more of that shade so it can transition well with this shimmer shade so now we're going to do the other eye and then we'll blend the crease area so we can move on with the rest of our face.
and I'm just patting it. So let me know if you if you all use a fluffy brush or what type of brush you apply your shimmers with um, and how they work for you because I like the fluffy brush method. Like I said, give it a softer um, application on the eyelid. Okay, so we'll apply a little bit more right in the crease. And I'm tilting my head a little bit so I can actually see my crease area. Because I like putting a little shimmer in my crease. Because when I close my eye, open my eyes, you really can't see these shimmers. So we're just going to kind of like softly blend this crease area. Not going to go up too high, but right above. The crease area just a little bit and the same thing for this eye so now we're going to take the same brush and we're going to um, blend out these edges and you want to do it really really lightly and do the same for this side and you know what? Let me go back in with my um, this fiber brush for these edges. And this is a BH Cosmetics. Um, no, it's not. It's my Sigma E41 and the fiber brush. So we're going to blend out these edges again. And then do these edges. And you can see how it's um, looking from this eye to this eye where it's still kind of harsh. So that's why um, I like these little fiber brushes especially when you're trying to um, blend out seamless crease areas and areas like this on the outer V. I'm just blending in a circular motion and you can see it's diffusing. Okay so now we're going to go back in with the Makeup Shack T68 brush and we're going to um, put a little bit more frame right on the tip of the brush and apply it back into this outer V. And we're just gonna flick this shadow on here so we won't have to do a whole lot of blending. So we're just gonna, um, like I said, flick it in this outer V. That way you don't have that harshness and a little bit above your crease area. And the same thing for this side. That way it, um, your shimmer shade is not with that harshness and everything looks really well and blended. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take this fiber brush one more time with this frame shade, cause I feel like I wanna make sure it's actually blended and not my shimmer shade sitting on top of that. So I'm just applying framed onto this fiber brush and just um, blending it into the shimmer shade. Same thing for this eye. Let me just deepen it up just a little bit because I feel like the other eye was more deeper than this eye. And I try to make sure they're all both. They're all both at <laughs> R-E-R blended equally. Now I'm taking this same Makeup Shack brush and just lightly fluffing and blending. Blend out this harshness. And I'm just going in the shape of a V. So now we're going to go back in uh, one last time with this ColourPop brush with the shimmer shade and flick it one more time on that lid. Lightly blend. And the same for the other eye. One last time, the fiber brush. I know it's a lot of blending, but, you know, 
that's what I like to do to make sure they're pretty much blended like really really good and the other eye okay now the wet and wild brush now we're not applying any more shadows again we're just making sure these edges are blended before we move on to the next step should I add some more of that? I don't know but this is what we're going to do we're going to go ahead clean the eyes up um, get this oh, sorry didn't have my simple and we're going to pour a little bit on my wipe so we can clean up this under eye area and that way we can see if we need to apply any more um, shadows we're just gonna take do makeup wipe okay and it's real simple and easy and I love this simple like I you know I always rave about it because my eyes are like super super sensitive and I can't just put anything around my eye area um, so I make sure I use that on the regular because it works pretty good for, you know, my eyes because they're like really, really sensitive. So we're going to zoom in so we can see the final look of the eyes. Like right here, I think we need to do a little more blending. That's why I like to zoom in as well so I can see what I need to fix before going off camera. So make sure that's blended. Okay, the other eye, same thing. And probably when I went back in with that wet and wild brush, may have knocked some of it off. I think that's pretty good. So now let's take the wood and wild. I think we do need to go with just like a little dab of brush. And I just um, put the tip in the um, shadow. And we're going to place it right above here. And like we did earlier. And just transition the rest of it. Blend it right down into that um, inner corner area. Give a little more depth on that top of the eye. Same thing for this one. And just making sure it's blended like really good. So I think that should do it. So we're gonna clean up one more time under the eye, just in case there was any type of fallout. Because if it was, you're gonna see it in your application, your foundation application. Okay, so that completes the eye look. I do like the way it turned out. It's not too bold. It's just right what I was looking for this morning. And I'm going to go off camera, finish the rest of my face, and I will be back to show you guys my final look. See you guys in a bit. So welcome back. This is the final look, and I love it. Uh, my hair is looking like really good today. I know this is not a hair video, but my curls are like really looking good today. I refreshed them yesterday, so I'm pleased with how they look. But to finish this face off, I use my Juvia's Place foundation. Um, I did not contour I bronzed today with the Makeup Shack contour palette and I used um, this shade and this shade and this shade I mixed all three of them together to kind of get this nice little warm bronzy look going on my face uh, for my lashes today I used my Ardell wispy lashes in the style uh, black 113 these are also a great option like the kiss lashes that I love to wear the zero one style um, and these are kind of similar to those they're really really light you can wear them every day they give your eyes a nice um, length um, to your lashes and they're really, really light and they are affordable uh, for the rest of my face I did not apply any more shadows that's the usual I try not to do that when I go off camera but I did go in with this Profusion palette. 
I blushed with it and I also highlighted with it. You can tell this was like my baby. I dogged this thing out. Um, but I used the first highlighting shade in my brow bone area and my inner corner eye area. And for my lips today, I actually lined them with this St. Luxie liner in Secret Admirer. This is what the shade looks like. And I topped them with my Dominique Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Lemonade. I like this look. This is like really, really pretty. It did not take long to do. It was super easy to do. I like the way the coverage is. Now, I'm not sure how this Juvia's Place foundation um, is going to um, hold up throughout the day because I'm usually gone about 11 hours a day when I go to work. So, I'm excited to see how this performs and lasts throughout the day. And if I can remember in my next video, I'll let you guys know. But I do like the coverage on it. It did not take a whole lot. Um, I actually put a little facial oil inside the uh, foundation and mixed it before I applied it to my face. And it made it really, really easy with my buffing brush. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys like the final look. Um, and if you have not done so already, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And become a part of my YouTube family here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.